guys, it's Brandy Nicole. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup today. I'm getting ready to go somewhere. I have my cowboy shirt on. They are in the playoffs and won their first playoff game. Very proud of them. We moved from Dallas Fort Worth area, so we're not Texan fans. We are um, Cowboys fans. So I'm getting ready and I need to hurry. Not hurry, but kind of hurry. So I got the mess behind me. I don't have a, I'm not a YouTuber like Haley is. And if you'll notice, well, I'm sure you have, on my neck, I have these red spots and they're from the sun you know and I, I had them and then long story short they just they got worse and it's weird because I don't have them anywhere else but it's because I put a chemical bill on it myself and it was supposed to be made differently and today we're going to put some makeup on it too so I started out with the Warless Okay, so my phone rang. It was my wonderful husband. So what I'm using is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I like it because it's real silky. I guess they're probably all real silky. I worry about it being the e.l.f. brand because it probably doesn't have the best product in it. I don't use it much because I don't want it to break out my skin. But I did put it all over my face. I even put it on my neck. And then I put it on my chest. I then put some on my eyelids. So now I'm going to do my foundation next. Went and got my sponge. This is the Morphe sponge that my daughter got me. I love it. And I had an idea when I was washing it. I wash it with warm water, hot water. But then at the end, I rinse it with cold water. And then I dry it off because coldness closes pores and tightens skin. Whereas warm, open pores. First I'm gonna spray. Maria Badesco. I like this one, the Aloe Chamomile Lavender. Lavender is so relaxing and I need some relaxation in my life. Uh, breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, thing is, it's the middle of winter and I'm very white. So the only thing that really matches me is this. And I could even use a little bit of this. So, okay, we're gonna use the Neutrogena. I love it. It's nice, plus it has sunscreen. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup with Broad Spectrum SPF 20. I feel it. Look at your... Well, let me not say that. Look at your... Man. Yeah. Most of you, your belly. I'm not going to show mine, but my belly, it's so soft and not very many marks on it. It's so pretty, and now look at that compared to my face and my chest, and I'm like, it's obvious it's the sun. It's obvious it's the sun. What else could it be? Well, there's also um, toxins in the air, you know, from pollution and all this crap. I guess what I'm gonna do is just put this all over my face. Then what I do is I take some of the darker color and I'll add that on top, which I'm sure other people do too. This is just like so dark. So I'm gonna do this tart. Just a little. I'm gonna put, you know, a little couple here, here, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, blah, blah. Dab, dab, dab. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap. Give it a little tap a -roo. Till I go to your home. You can tell me what movie that's from. I'll give you a smiley face kiss. It's one of my favorite movies. I'm not going to worry about this right now. Because I'm going to add some to my neck and my chest. But i got to worry about my hairline. I love making my face a blank slate first and then adding the color. I just added a base color and I'm going to go ahead and do my neck and my chest. So I'm just going to add some onto my chest and just a little on my neck. And I'm using this lighter color because my chest and my neck is even lighter than my face. So this you'll be able to see. I don't mind being white. White is pretty. I just wish I was darker. We always want what we don't have. And this, I'm gonna make sure I go up into neck. All the way back here, just in case my hair falls back some. I don't want it to look like I'm trying to cover it up. So I'm gonna try to make it look as natural as I can. And also I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild palette, Hey Look At Me contour palette, and I'll take Oh, my son got me some brushes for Christmas. And I would take this 
and go. Do you see where that natural shadow is? Oh, that's dark. You want to go down. I went to the left too much. And make it look like your neck is skinnier. And of course, under the chin, all the way up. I don't really need much of this because my foundation was a little dark, but I'm going to go ahead and do the spots that you should. I put some down my nose because that's where the sun hits. I'm just going to go ahead and use this for my cheek contour. I'm going to go ahead and take this. It's a pretty nice color. I like it. It matches my tones. Do my collarbone. You can kind of make them pop out so you can figure out where to go. And not just the collarbone, there's a little socket right there. And then, as an older lady, I do a little right here. I'm married. I'm not trying to attract men, but I do want to look good for my husband and myself. There's my base. I still see the redness. It's a little muted. <sighs> no, it's not. Um, if it bothers me more, I'll just put some um, concealer on it. Speaking of concealer, let's go ahead and put some on under my eyes. I don't use a lot. I don't like to do the whole face thing. Oh, this right here. I don't know if I told y'all about it. I'll tell y'all about it another time. Anywhere else. I'll use this because sometimes I put too much for my eyelid. Let's go ahead and dab a couple of these. It's pretty white, but I'm going to just dab it in. You let them dry a little bit. So, I don't use a concealer brush. I just realized I use my finger. I just go like this. And you use your middle Either your ring finger or your middle finger, those are the lightest. They'll put the least amount of pressure onto your face. Under your eyes is the most delicate. And do it in here and it defines the eye. I mean, the nose. Yeah, this is a lot lighter than I should use, probably. But it's the only one I like. Just take this brush and go over it a little. And then I'm just gonna dab this. Sorry, because I'm armpit. I don't want that to look too white. See, I don't like that to be lighter like that. Dab a little bit of this. Okay, so let's go for this. Now let's do the blush. I told you I don't have blush. So, I have blush brush though. Oh, these are elf brushes by the way. I like a little a pinkish. So I've got these um, eyelash, eyebrow, uh, eyeshadow palettes. This one's the color Rafi Adamant. Hello, I've had this one forever. And this color right here is beautiful. It's strong, so I just barely dab it. And I dab it right there, and I pull it out. That's a lot. Dab, dab, pull. See how much that was? This stuff is potent. It's good. I like it. All right. Look like a clown. That means it's working. Uh, eyebrow. Which I love. The Anastasia. It's the pomade. And I have just this cheap old brush. Someone got me a new brush for Christmas for that, but it's okay. Just kidding. I love all my gifts. The pomade, look how much I've used. This thing is going to last me for my lifetime. A little bit of the brow. It's too much. <clears throat> no. I don't know what Haley would think. This is what I did. Shape my brow. I'm going to make them a little taller. The hair's there. It's just blonde. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's gonna even notice. All the girls do. Isn't it funny how more girls look at you usually than guys? Is that how you feel? That's usually what happens to me. And I noticed that about Haley. She's always looking at other girls and what they got and what they're wearing and their purses and blah blah blah. And I'm like, really Haley? Just do what you want to do. Who cares what everybody else has? Something I did get for Christmas is this elf. There are some haters on Instagram. Oh, she's being so ugly. And I am like, you know what? You ain't gonna do this to my daughter. So I let it, let him have it. I get so angry. It doesn't bother Haley. It bothers her when they attack me. You can't talk. It bothers her when they say things about me because it's like, you're so disrespectful. But that's because I taught my daughter to be respectful to elders. Uh, apparently not every parent has. Older people, they know more about certain things because they've lived longer. I've always listened to my elders. Always. Even if I didn't believe it, I listened 
took it into consideration and then did with it with whatever I wanted. Sometimes I think they're crazy. Sometimes I realize you know what, they're right. A lot of times it's your parents that you realize were telling the truth and you just didn't listen. Happened to me. Happens to everybody. You know what gets me mad? Is these people talk about privilegedness. Being privileged. And I honestly don't get the concept. People aren't, I mean, they may be lucky, privileged that their family before them built up a successful family empire and handed down money to them or whatever. But if you go out and you work hard for your money and you got a lot of money or you have a lot of things, how is that being privileged? Like, yeah, she's privileged. She's happy that she got the stuff that she wanted. It makes me mad. I don't I don't understand the privileges. And don't say it's because I'm white and haven't had to struggle in my life because I have. Mm, people just don't know. I don't go around telling them about it. Mm, there were times when I had to get ready to school with no electricity or hot water. So I'll just leave it at that. Haley bought me this Urban Decay. No, she got this for free. Urban Decay on the run. It's so pretty. Look at that. So I'm using shrimp, no scamp, for my base color. I need to get this. I've got primer on here and I've got sealer on here and it needs to be toned down under the eye. Another thing, I'm happy for those people that are privileged. I'm happy that they have everything they need and want. Way to go for them. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little jealous that it was, you know, they have it and I don't. But if I want it, just work hard to get it, right? Capitalism can do what you want. What color should I use? I guess most is just like the browns, right? I don't want to do purple because I'm wearing blue. I forgot about my chest. Um, let's do this double up. I have big eyeballs. So my eyes, I can define that real easy. But then when I open my eye, I got this loose skin because I'm old. I gotta deal with that. But at least I can define the eyeball, which is what you're trying to do. You're trying to find the shadow, the lowest part, which would have the shadow. I'm gonna take a blending brush and just blend like that. I don't really need it too dark. That's good. I'm then going to take kind of like a brush like this. It's not clean, but worst brush I, brush I could use. Yeah, at least trick with the Mario Badesco. Just a little bit. Go into that beautiful pickup. Get some on my brush. Dab it right in the middle of my eyeball. Right on my eye. I can feel my contact. I'm gonna go in the corners with the lighter one, so I'm just gonna do the middle one. I'm gonna do this glitter all under my eyeball. I don't know why I call it my eyeball. It is my eyeball, but now I'm gonna find an even lighter highlighter. I don't have a highlighter, isn't that crazy? So in the color pop hello, you had me at hello. I'm gonna use one of these. I'm going to I'm doing my highlighting brush. I'm just gonna take it into there. Highlight right here my nose and then the corner of my eyes this doesn't do well for the corner of my eyes if you want it to really shine though just use your finger packs it on a little stronger okay so i always do a liner i've been using this liner lately milan milani eye to perfection liquid liner oh those dogs they're right outside. They're in the way. So, I always start out small and I wind up, you know, they can always do a little bit. And I always let them do more. So, I'm just gonna do about that much. And I'm gonna try to mimic that on the other eyeball. Eye. Lid. Not going on the ball. I don't like doing the left side, so I can't talk. Always mess up. Maybe it looks good. And I'm gonna take this other liner. This, uh, that's the point professional mix. I'm gonna go on the inside. Oh, let's walk right using that one because it's out. 
They say if you can to do it under your your lashes too. But I cannot. Uh, well, actually, I've never really tried. Well, looky there. But this has to match meet perfectly right here, and this is where I always get the curve. I have to have it perfect. I don't wear falsies, so you'll be able to see every little, every little mark. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the bottom too. I mean, if you have big eyes, doing this will help them go a little, look a little smaller. Look, I got a bunch of black in my eye. It'll go away. I usually line the pencil liner, so. So I did, I went underneath. They say it helps to make your lashes look longer because it starts black at the base. So the corners need to be cornered off into triangles. Both sides, they need to meet. And then on the inside, it needs to be, go from the inside out. Ooh, this one messed up a little. What I'm gonna do is just get my brushes that I used. I could go over it with my concealer if I wanted to, but I think this will, this is gonna be fine. See, I don't, I like liquid eyeliner, but <laughs> look, seriously. Did y'all hear Haley? laughing in the background not at me she's on something on her phone okay so that just did not do very well we're all okay no need to get up in a tizzy or have a mini breakdown or anxiety attack if i had to be gone by now i might luckily i have no time limit on me getting ready okay so I think this didn't dry all the way. I didn't let it dry all the way before I opened my eye all the way. So I'm gonna chill for a minute. I'm getting my brush. I'm gonna do a light, the light color that I did on my lid on top to fix this. Actually, I need to get some, uh, yeah, I used this other one. The corners. You can do it all again. Now we're ready for mascara. I use L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I love Neutrogena, but I haven't gotten it, so. This company is asking Haley to do the the uh, contacts, the colored contacts thing. And I was like, why would you want to do that? I mean, I guess it'd be cool to see what you look like in those different colors, but like, it's not you. I guess maybe she doesn't want to be herself. I don't know. If I did it, I would just want one that would enhance my my color i mean i guess i can see how it would be cool for people just do something different so i don't know she's gonna do what she told me to write them back i haven't yet because she don't tell me what to do i tell her what to do also she's attending what is it playlist live in orlando beginning of march march second third fourth or something like that and we are going, but she's just going to attend it, but be walking around. So if you're in Orlando or near there, you should go. It's kind of pricey. It was like $100 for the badge to get in. That's a lot, but there's going to be a lot of creators there. And then Haley's new thing is this TikTok crap. I think it's silly. Haley has a real voice talent, you know. She could do that singing her real voice. Doesn't have to lip it. Last but not least. Oh, I still have it on my chest. Last but not least it will be the more you put on, the thicker your lashes will be. Lip stuff. And I like to put a lip liner on and it's dark in here and I don't know if I can find one. You know what? This one's not sharpened, but it's a it's a contour pencil from Nick. It has like a brown on one end. I love it. As a lip liner. It needs to be sharpened. I can you no, I'm just gonna do it. Try my best. Get my widow's peak. That doesn't make sense. Twin peaks. Never be scared to show off your lips. The true size that they are. When you get older, your lips get smaller. They lose collagen. So women have to fill them in if they want them to be pouty again. So enjoy them while you can. Now I have a pink lipstick in my purse. I'm gonna go get it real quick. 
No, that was not the body. This color is Milani, I believe. Where the heck is it? The heck is it? Oh, Milani. There we go. My innocence. I love it. It looks dark, but roll that you can do is just stick your finger and you won't get lipstick on your teeth. Okay. I got my cowboy shirt. Oh. <laughs> One more thing. Let's figure out what we're going to do with this chest here. Because it's damp. You know what? I think it's worked pretty good. I'm happy. There's my look. I'm going to go out with my hubby. Have a good time. I just flat ironed my hair and curled hands out. Nothing special. I probably should do more with it, but I don't want to. And I spent a long time on my makeup. So anyway, hope you enjoyed watching me get ready to go out. So see you guys later. Subscribe, like, subscribe to Haley if you haven't, which I'm sure you have. But if you haven't, go ahead and do that and like and turn on notifications for both of us. And love you guys. Bye-bye.